Hello? What is it? What does it want here? My name is Wilbur Weathervane. Who is speaking? It's scary. It should not be here. How do I get started in games? Um, oh, well, I'm an actor, audio person, and director, so it's a kind of thing that's always been in, in my blood. You know? So I started, uh, I started acting and directing when I was a teenager. I started doing street theatre, so that was how I did it. And I just loved doing comedy stuff that made people laugh in the street. I discovered the early LucasArts stuff, Day of the Tentacle and all that kind of stuff, which I loved. And my all-time favourite game was, um, I think it was about 95, but I was actually already in the industry then, I think. Yeah, it was, because it was full throttle. I just loved Full Throttle, you know, and I just thought this was the standard for all games dialogue, but at that time, LucasArts were ahead of the game by years and years, you know. We started working here about uh, ten years ago, Okay. and then we took, took it on, um, took over the lease here in 2008, so we've been here what, five years. And we've way past 500 productions now. We do facial capture here for that fight, you know. Um, and we're actually developing tech to work with the um, facial capture that ties into the script, ties into the audio, all in real time. But a lot of our work is international. I think a lot of the best um, writing we're finding, the most in innovate, innovative stuff, is uh, a lot of stuff comes out of Germany. For games, gameplay is king. And what you're doing with a story needs to match gameplay. They need to work together. You know, story makes gameplay phenomenal, but you need phenomenal gameplay in the first place. Getting the actor into the context is really important. Um, and, and to my mind, that is, to, so the, you know, the technology supports them, but the, the microphone, that means they can physically get into context. So if you watch when he was doing Monkus and stuff, it's like, yeah, yeah, he's down here. And you know what, some of the actors are coming right up to the glass to say their lines, or you know what I mean? It's a very physical thing to act and to be a character. If you are stuck in front of a mic where you have to be that distance for the mic for it to sound right, your performance is going to be stiff, constrained. So that's the first thing I did was actually get the actors so they're uh, released from the constraint of having to think about the microphone, so they can just think about the character. Hasn't Doug Cockle played in several? Oh well, yeah, Doug Cockle. The reason I, I basically I cast Doug, he is the Witcher. You know, the Witcher series is quite a big RPG game series, and I thought it'd be quite funny to get Doug to play Nate. Because, you know, The Witcher is just such a serious uh, thing. And this completely hapless idiot, again, the same actor to play the same role, would be a great relief for him, you know. And it's because it's another big kind of role, guy with sword, who is just useless, apart from guy with sword goes and kills zombies and stuff. So I think, you know, there's so much, there's quite a lot of humour in the casting, you know. So, but if you don't know about it, you know, there's a lot of internal humour that goes on within the, um, within the team as well, you know, about getting people to, you know, play things and different things to come in and do something completely different. I like Monkus. But <laughs> sorry, I just like Monkus. Yeah, he's my favourite character. The one and only son of Archwitch Motroga, shapeshifter and evil genius. Oh god, I can't tell you what my favourite Monkus line is in this. Um, oh, mind you, there's some great, there were some classic lines that made, were real laugh out loud lines. <laughs> oh, I'm neither. <laughs> He's... And I am neither. <laughs> and the first thing you notice about um, performance um, is that you want the performance to be as natural as possible. So, you know, look at everything that actually gets in the way of the performance. But not this time. But not this time. The Alliance will break, and the Kingdom of Shadows will rise! Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> in an ideal world, I wouldn't have the glass here. It would be all in the same room. How did you fool us like that? Well, it wasn't easy. It took a master of intrigue to manage it. <laughs> you got all the hand gestures back and everything, yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. But the only reason the glass is here is for noise pollution. You know, it's like any recording studio. Oh, so this is the part where the bad guy tells the hero his plan so he can scupper it at the last moment. It's just a bit more. <laughs> so this is the, you know what I mean? The standard recording studio has always been built around this space. This is the most important space. I can click on a line in the script, you know, and it'll play. So anything that's there, so if there's music and sound effects, you click on the line, everything will play that is pertinent to that line. Now, there, are some, there are some real magic moments in this. It's been a, a very entertaining game to work on. And I'm, I'm so bloody pleased to be working on it as well. Because it was like, you know, I fell in love with Book of Unwritten Tales. Because that was such a left of field thing from this completely unknown studio in Germany. And we got this, um, you know, I just got a brief when the first, the first one came along. And it was just like, well, do what you want. It's up to you. 